All right, let's have a look around. I'm up on this upper deck here, which puts me in bird's eye view of this moldy, moldy cage. See that? See all that? It's all the way down. That's been done a few years. It's a nice pool, nice little dive right there. You see the molding on the rails? It's basically everywhere, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and SH everything down. Then we're gonna get after it. Check it out. There's no more algae anywhere, no mold. Well, maybe it was moss, I don't know. But anyway, look how nice and clean everything looks, okay? In the beginning, you see me futzing around with the, uh, with the trying to get some soap to come out. Now, this is how important it is to troubleshoot yourself. I just happened to hear, feel a vibration in my handle and the gun of the wand, the blue gun from Italy. You know, they last a couple months and then they get the, the war out in the middle, just like anything else, right? But uh, the gun was vibrating and you can hear it going So I just went and changed guns. So that fixed it. That was restricting the flow of SH and uh, confusing my downstream injector because it was not getting full flow of water through the handle. Switched over to a new gun, bam. SH comes flying out of there. So don't always assume it's the injector. That's my point here. All right, I'm done from Super Blast, and let's get after it. Now for the satisfying rinse. <laughs> Okay, folks, that's how you do it. Look at that. Even all the grout along the pool edge is nice and white. All the algae's gone. The deck looks great. All the outside stoops are good. She requested the furniture get clean. That thing was a moldy, moldy mess, you know. A little bit of SH. That thing looks brand new now, huh? Looks good. All right, I'm down from Super Blast Pressure Washing. It was just that easy, all right? Let's get after it. Okay, remember to rinse the gear out after every job. You don't want this SH in the line. Who 
poop. Look at all that. That would have been sitting in there all day long. And it's biodegradable. It's just going to go ahead and just wash out. We'll just flush it out with some more water while we're sitting here draining our tank. All right, that's all that's going to come out of there. All right, see that? I want to see that. We can let the water run through the lines a while to get all that SH. We do have metal casing in these pressure hoses. So what does SH do? It eats it up. Okay, and also, this stick right here, it's down in the SH, so you want to rinse this off because you soak your injector in fresh water. So if you don't rinse this off, you're just adding SH to your bucket of fresh water, which is right here. Is right over there. See? Okay, now I'm gonna stick this in the fresh bucket of water. Okay? Now watch what comes out. All that's in your line, your uh, injector line. So you want to rinse everything out real good, including that injection line. It took a while for this SA to get there because I had to go through 200 feet of hose first. Now, if it feels dry to me. If it's slippery, then you have SH in the water. So you know when it's clean, all right? All right, that's just helpful tip. Keep the gear in shape. All right, I'm Don. Let's get after it. Hey, 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 Don here. Hey, just got off the phone with my uh, next customer, and she's not doing very well today. And uh, her husband just got rushed to the hospital. He's terminal, so there's some crazy stuff going on over there. I feel bad for them. Um, if you're the praying type, say a prayer for the, my customer. But the job's been rescheduled for next Friday, which will be on my last day of work. So I'm heading to the mountains. But anyway, count your blessings if you got your health, all right? Uh, so the next step in today's uh, events is going to go back to Rockstar Power Sports, and I'm going to go make the final uh, payment uh, on my wife's Mule SX. It'll be coming in tomorrow or late this afternoon. They had a green one in stock over in Tampa, so she's actually going to have it next week before I leave on vacation, so that's going to be cool. So this weekend I'll be uh, getting our shed cleared out. We're going to make some space for it. And uh, it's got a new home here. My wife's going to be very happy. And uh, I can't wait to film her on it and show the world how happy you can make, a, make your wife if you want. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we got work tomorrow. We got work every day, of course. Uh, what do we got tomorrow? We got a pool cage. Then we got a pool deck and driveway. And then we have another three car driveway after that. So a really busy day tomorrow. All right. All right. Remember, get after it.